Hi, I'm David Bush. Welcome back to Bush History. And I'm continuing my ongoing uh, segments called The Presidents, taking a look at each president's administration, one president at a time, in these fairly short videos. Today, or now, I'm taking a look at William Henry Harrison. Talk about short videos, shortest president in American history, not in stature, but in his actual term of office. President William Henry Harrison, number nine, his vice president was John Tyler. People had had enough of the Democrats and they wanted a change, and their change was to elect a Whig president. Now, if you take a look, his term of office is 1841, and that's just it, 1841. He, had been, he was president for an amazingly short amount of time because he caught pneumonia and died. Who came before him and after him? Martin Van Buren was a Democrat who preceded him, and John Tyler followed him. John Tyler wanted to be called a Whig, but he acted an awful lot like a Jacksonian Democrat. But when we take a look at John Tyler, you'll see what I'm talking about. Any unusual circumstance surrounding his ascent to the presidency. It was the first modern campaign in which the candidates actually got out there and did a lot of campaigning for themselves. That's the first thing. Plus, he was trying to defeat an incumbent who should have been very popular. But the economic depression that occurred as a result of the Panic of 1837 really doomed Van Buren's presidency. The electors, Harrison at 234 and Van Buren had 60. So you see it was not even a horse race. The office, any catchphrases? Well, one catchphrase was Tippecanoe and Tyler II, referring to the battle in 1811 that preceded the War of 1812, in which William Henry Harrison was the victor in that battle for the United States. And he's also called the hero of Tippecanoe. Well, when he left office, was it by choice, defeat, natural death, assassination, or resignation? natural death. He gave his inaugural address on March 4th, 1841 in a blustery cold day and he wanted to show how tough he was so he didn't wear an overcoat. And then he proceeded to show himself in public several times also not wearing an overcoat in a particularly cold spell. He died on April 4th, 1841 from pneumonia. So he was not around for a very long time. In terms of what happens while he's president, nothing. But it created the first situation in which the vice president becomes president of the United States. And obviously, there's no foreign policy either because he would, had the shortest administration of any president in American history. So for now, I'm David Bush, and this is Bush History, and we'll see you again. Have a great day.